90s cars are a staple in popular culture, and in that decade, multiple iconic cars were released as car manufacturers tried their hand in performance vehicles. These are some of the more affordable cars that came out of the 90s that still have jaw-dropping performance today. The Toyota MR2 When Toyota was planning to make this car, they wanted something that was fun to drive, but also economical on fuel. MR2 stands for Midship Roundabout Two-Seater, and the Mark II version of this car was produced from 1990 to 1999. During its creation, it had help from the Toyota Celica, which resulted in its mid-engine rear-wheel drive design. The car is very well capable and is on record of beating a Ferrari 348 in a quarter mile. It also had borrowed some stylistic choices from that same Ferrari. The car has accumulated a reputation of good reliability and great performance. It has a 3 liter V6 engine capable of 220 horsepower and 0 to 60 in just 8 seconds. The turbo variant of this car is capable of 0 to 60 in just 5.8 seconds. The Mitsubishi 3000 GT During this car's creation, Mitsubishi wanted something that performed better than the rival sports cars coming out in the 90s, but they also wanted something that was priced lower. The US models of this car had a front wheel drive system, while the Japan models had a four wheel drive system. This car was a good alternative to the Toyota Supra, and it had even sold more than the Mazda RX-7 and the Toyota Supra combined. As for some additional accessories, the car came with a four-wheel steering system, and the Mark II version of the 3000 GT had pop-up headlights. Mitsubishi designed this car with a 3-liter, 24-valve V6 engine that was turbocharged and capable of 320 horsepower. The Dodge Viper. This American-made car had its first generation from 91 to 95 and its second generation from 96 to 2002. It is an American-made 8-liter V10 that is capable of 400 horsepower. During its creation, Lamborghini helped out in the design. At the time, Chrysler had owned Lamborghini. The designer from Lamborghini took inspiration from the SR-17 Blackbird, which was an American strategic reconnaissance aircraft. The car has massive power, but no traction control and no anti-lock braking system. Dodge had even manufactured a special edition of the car, called the Mamba. Only 200 were made and released for one year. In 1995, you can expect to pay upwards of $60,000. Now you can find some for ten dollars to $20,000. The BMW M3. This legendary car had its E36 generation produced from 92 to 99 and it was made to be a lot heavier and more powerful at the cost of handling when compared to the previous E30 generation. The styling of the E36, however, was made to be less aggressive looking than the previous E30. BMW gave this car a 2.5 liter inline 6 cylinder engine capable of 286 horsepower. The car has a top speed of 155 miles per hour and can go from 0 to 60 in 5.6 seconds. The rarest E36 ever made was the E36 M3R, which was capable of 322 horsepower and only 11 were given to the general public. The Ford Mustang SVT Cobra Ford produced this high-performance Mustang from 93 to 2004. 
It had a 4.6 liter V8 engine capable of 240 horsepower. And from 1996 onwards, it had a 5 liter engine capable of 305 horsepower. The car is capable of going from 0 to 60 in just 5.7 seconds. During its creation, it had help from the Shelby Mustangs, which are known as the high performance variance models of Ford Mustangs. There was also a special edition of the Cobra called the SVT Cobra R. It was a limited production model capable of 300 horsepower. Only 250 were made in 95. In the 90s, you could expect to pay just under $30,000 for a Cobra. Now you can pay around $15,000 to $20,000. The Nissan 300ZX This Nissan, nicknamed the Fair Lady Z, was produced from 1984 to 96. The Z32 generation had a 3 liter V6 capable of 220 horsepower. Nissan also made a turbo variant of the car that was capable of 300 horsepower. They also gave the turbo models Nissan's high capacity actively controlled suspension system, which is basically a four wheel steering system. When Nissan was testing out the handling of the 300ZX, it came out on top versus the Acura NSX and the Porsche 944. The headlights sit at a 60 degree angle to help keep the shape of the car. It has a top speed of 155 miles per hour and it can go from 0 to 60 in 5.6 seconds. In Japan, there was an exclusive 300ZX version R model that had exclusive styling. The Chevrolet Corvette C5 the C5 generation was produced from 96 to 2004. It was a brand new design from its previous generation that had fewer than 1500 parts. Chevy gave the cars titanium exhaust to reduce the hindrance of sound. It has a reputation of having a strong, powerful V8 engine that even when driven aggressively, still is pretty reliable. When Chevy was making this car, they were making it at the same time they were making the racing version. It had borrowed some components to help it reach its high horsepower. Under the hood is the LS1 V8 engine that produces 345 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque. This V8 was well equipped to take the car from 0 to 60 in just 4.3 seconds. Guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much. Please like if you like, subscribe if you like content like this. I'm going to be making more videos soon, so stay tuned for that. Thanks, guys.